a white adder here and we're going to be going over the tool clustered it's an application server attack tool written by dronesec available on github today we're going to go over some of its basic usage as well as some of the tomcat modules our target today uh, is a metal exploitable 2 from rapid 7 and we'll be attacking its tomcat instance it runs on port 8180 we'll do a version scan of that just so we can see it I have that Metasploitable 2 host sitting on 192.168.72.130. While that's running, let's take a quick look at the help options for Clustered. I've already downloaded it from GitHub. Zoom in here. Now we can give Clustered an IP address or a list of IP addresses, specify the port. Uh, we can force SSL, there's a few other options there. We can feed into clustered information about the target, such as operating system. We can deploy our own war file. Um, we can invoke war files, and we can also brute force um, passwords. In this instance, it's using default credentials, so we don't have to worry about brute forcing. Uh, we have JBoss, Cold Fusion, WebLogic modules. All great stuff there. We won't be looking at those today. We'll be looking at Tomcat modules. TC-info and a TC-list. We'll look at those specifically. And then this particular uh, TC-SMB is only available on Windows. We all know how Windows loves to give out its authentication hash. And as pen testers, we do love that about Windows. Um, in the miscellaneous flags, this debug option can have some pretty good and helpful output um, if you're having any kind of issues. Take a look through those at your own time. Our scan's finished up here, and port 8180 is open and hosting Apache Tomcat as we suspected. So that's great. We will feed this information now into Clustered. Clear this out, and uh, we'll go ahead and call the Clustered Python script with the IP address of our target host. Again, that's sitting on 72.130 port 8180 and we will say that this is a Tomcat instance and we know that the operating system is Linux so we'll look at that I believe cluster defaults to Windows first module we'll look at is this tc-info go ahead and run that and perfect it fingerprints it gives us Tomcat version 5.5 uh, we can see the manager 5.5 and we got some other information about our host uh, most of that we already know and we can actually feed now that version .5.5 into clustered and then it won't iterate through the other Tomcat versions. It gives us a little cleaner output and we can take a look at that other uh, Tomcat module tc-list and we can see all of the deployed applications. So that's fantastic. We could browse those and enumerate those. Uh, today we're just showing off clustered so um, in the spirit of that let's generate excuse me let's generate our own payload so check our help file again you see the gen payload option just give it the host and port for the reverse connection so call the clustered script dash dash gen dash payload our local IP address which happens to be 72.129 and let's just do the de facto port 4444 and we will go ahead and tell it that this is a Tomcat instance and it's hosted on a Linux server. Again, I think cluster defaults to Windows. And we know the version. Uh, I don't know if we need to include version, but we'll go ahead and throw that on there 5.5. And we will let that generate here. It's pretty quick. Here we go. And we see it generated shell.war and uh, if we do a list out, we can see shell.war there. And so in the kind of us gives the payload he used, we can just copy that. We will use uh, Metasploit to catch that um, exploit once it's executed. Uh, if you're not familiar with Metasploit, there's plenty of tutorials out there to get familiar with it. We'll paste in the payload he used. And we'll give our local host Again on dot one two nine and our local port as well, which we said was four dot four four four. 
and we'll execute that. And while that's getting started up, we'll go ahead and get the command line uh, in, invoke and deploy ready. So just go back up here and pull back um, some of this information. So again, dash I for the IP address, dash P for the port, dash A saying it's a Tomcat server. We have the version. We're going to deploy our shell.war file that we created, and we're going to go ahead and invoke that. Um, if we want to go back over to our help options, we can see that the invoke is just actually going to invoke it once it deploys it. So uh, with these application servers, you um, deploy your war file, and then you actually need to, to do the work to execute it. So that's what we're doing with the dash dash invoke command. We see that um, Metasploit is listening now for our shell. So we'll go ahead and launch that. And great, look, it's deployed out to shell. Let's check this out over here. We have a session opened. I am Tomcat user. And if we do an IF config, there's my 1.30 IP address. And that'll wrap up this demonstration. Again, you can grab clustered from GitHub slash hat riot slash clustered. Follow DroneSec on Twitter. Be sure to tell them to get the White Hatter some coffee. And be sure to look on this channel and other places for more video tutorials. Thanks for watching.